Hi, I'm Teacher Belize and in this video, I will perform the different total physical response used in teaching kids online. But, what is TPR? TPR stands for Total Physical Response and is a way of teaching language that uses both verbal communication and physical body movement. This technique was developed by Dr. James Usher, a professor at San Jose State University in the 1970s. He observed that young learners comprehend language before speech and often responded with physical movements. When we use body movements to show the meaning of the word, students with little knowledge about English begins to associate words with body movements. The coupling of actions and speech naturally makes learning easier. A few TPR examples include facial expressions, body language, gestures, and physical props. Total physical response is a strategy that tends to work best for actions related words and is a very effective way to help your students focus in class. Why TPR is important in online teaching? Body movement and speech are innately linked in our brains. So by using TPR, you are delivering a language in a way that young minds can best understand. So when and how to use TPR as an online teacher? Hmm. TPR is a key for classroom commands. It is also known as instructional TPR. These gestures demonstrate what you want the student to do during the lesson. We can use this type of gesture in every online teaching class. Some classroom TPR examples are Pointing to your mouth when talking to show that they should listen carefully. Copying your ears to show that you're listening and that you want them to speak. Draw a circle in the air, just like this one. Pointing at the student if they don't understand that it's their turn to do something. Now, let's combine all of this together. I'm gonna tell you the instruction of our activity. And circle the words that starts with the sounds k, k. Can you do that for me? It's your turn. Say k, k. TPR can also help teach new vocabulary and teaching material. TPR is an essential tool to help students learn the meaning of a new word. For example, you want them to learn the meaning and word cat or cat. You won't just say cat, say cat. You will associate some action just like this. Cat with whiskers. Cat. Say it. Cat. And then repetition makes the student not forget what is the meaning of that word. So make them repeat it like cat. Say with me. Cat. Again, cat. TPR is also important when teaching phonics and pronunciation. For example, you want them to learn the sound of letter C. You won't just say k, k. You go closer to the camera and say k, 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 k. and then you will add some actions just like this k, k. and then you add a word like the word cat and then k, k. cat k, k. cat just like that but always remember to be consistent with your tpr look around you or are you happy today or are you sad very good do you love walking or running do you like singing or dancing what do you like tpr is beneficial for young and older learners just always remember to smile and 
be energetic. 